Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CSC Partshala. We were studying about Python for Machine Learning and Data Science and in this tutorial we will study about replace empty values. So in the previous tutorial we did study about empty values in a table and what we usually do there is we delete the complete row which contains the empty values. But in this tutorial we will search for an alternative option. So there is another way of dealing with empty cells is to insert a new value instead of performing the deletion. So we do not have to delete the entire rows just because of some empty cells. Instead, we will fill up those rows with certain values. So in order to perform this task, we are having fill NA method that allows us to replace empty cells with a value. So let's consider an example. I am having a data.csv file. This is my file and I am having certain values in this file and uh, these are empty. Okay, so I need to fill these empty cells with certain values and I have saved this file into a particular location. That means where my application has been running or my Python has been installed. So while accessing this CSV file, it will be very much useful to have a specific or the correct path. Okay, so we are going to implement an example where we will replace null values with the GAUD value. Okay, so let's consider a code. Import pandas as PD. Obviously, we are dealing with the data frames. So we are importing this package in the form of a allies PD. Then df is a variable that is equal to pd dot read underscore csv. So this is a method with the help of which we will access data dot csv file. Okay, with the help of a method that is read underscore csv. Then we are using fill na method. So with this variable df dot fill na, we will use gaud value and insert to those locations where there is empty cell okay and what we are doing here is in place equal to true this means that we are inserting the value into the actual file that means there will be no copy of the file where we will do the changes we are exactly doing the changes into the existing file okay and then we are printing the value of df so let's save this code and run this code all right so here it is i have already shown you the table and in that table there are certain empty values so those empty values here we can see in the output that everywhere we uh, where it has been found that the empty value it has been replaced by g a u d Okay, so this is how we can perform tasks with fill NA. Now, if you want to replace only a specified columns, that means we don't want to fill um, the values into all the columns, all the empty uh, set of the uh, cells. Okay, just we want to replace only to a specific column. Then what we will do? We will consider an example that to only replace empty values for one column, that means for the specific column name should be used in the data frame instead of replacing all empty cells in the whole data frame. So let's consider an example where we will replace the null values in the last name column. So here it is. All right. Import pandas as PD. DF equal to PD dot read underscore CSV data dot CSV. So these two lines are as similar of the previous example. Now what we are doing here is df last name so we are considering this column last name and we are filling this column last name which is possessing if certain null values with g a u d okay and uh, again here in place is equal to true that means we are doing the filling into the original data frame and then we are printing the value of df so let's save this code and run this code so here it is this is our last name column and the last name column possessing empty values are filled with gaud 
However, there is also an empty column which has been present in a scholar number, but uh, it doesn't have any change. But in the previous example, we did see uh, that if you are using only fill any, then it will replace or it will uh, fill all the empty values with the prescribed value. Now, if you want to replace using mean, median or the mode value, so what we can do? There is a common way to replace empty cells is to calculate the mean, median or the mode values of the column. So obviously here the pandas uses mean method, median method and the mode methods to calculate the respective values for a specified column. So let's consider an example where we will calculate the mean and replace any empty values with that. Okay. Import pandas as pd df equal to pd dot read underscore csv data dot csv. So these two lines are the same as of the previous example. Now what we are doing here is x that means we are defining another variable that is equal to df scholar number that means we are considering a column name that is scholar number and then in this scholar number column we are using dot mean that means we will calculate the mean of the values which are present in this column scholar number and that value will be copied to the variable x here then what we are doing df scholar number dot fill any that means if there is some uh, empty values which are present into uh, the scholar number column we will fill that with the help of a value x which we did calculated in the form of a mean in the previous step okay and again we are making in plus equal to true that means we are doing this task on the original data frame and at the last we are printing the value of the data frame let us print df so let's save this code and run this code so here it is so as we know that we can uh, see that we got 203 as a mean in the scholar number column and yes in this original data or the csv file this is an empty value in this scholar number column so this value has been filled with the mean value of all these values which are already present in the scholar number all right as you know that mean is the average value and it is the sum of all the values divided by the number of values which are present in that particular column. Now, if you want to calculate the median of the specific column and we need to replace the empty value which is present in specific column, so what we have to do? So let's consider a code again. So import pandas as pd, df equal to pd dot read underscore csv, data dot csv, these two lines are same again x equal to df scholar number again we are considering the same column that is a scholar number and instead of using mean we are using median here okay so we are using here that is dot median method okay so it will calculate the median of the values which are present in a scholar number column and we know that the median is the value in the middle which has been present in that particular column and after you have sorted all the values in an ascending order okay so yes we have already values which are present in an ascending order here okay so the median will be the value which is present in the middle of those values so yes after that we are using df scholar number dot fill na x that means the value of median which we did calculated in the above step we are just placing them or placing it in the empty value of that scholar number column okay and yes we are doing it on the original data frame that means in place equal to true and then we are printing the value of data frame all right so let's save this code and run this code so this is our data frame Okay, and here we can see that this value, this is 203 and if you just check the values here, that means we are having 5 entries from 201 to 205. So the middle value in this entry is 203. So obviously in scholar number column, we did calculated the median value that is 203 
and obviously the last row is having an empty cell so we did fill the median value with 203 in the last row of the scholar number column so yes here is the output now if you want to calculate the mode and then we have to replace uh, any empty values with it as we know that the mode is the value that appear, uh, appears more most frequently okay so what we can do in our original data.csv file we can okay, just make it like 201 okay that means in this table we are having 201 coming twice okay and uh, then we will calculate the mode of the scholar number column so yes save this file first okay now just consider a code and do uh, like this 201 now import pandas as pd df equal to pd dot read underscore csv data dot csv obviously these two lines are same and in the third line what we did is x equal to df scholar number dot mode method okay so here we are calculating the mode of the column that is scholar number okay and then we are indexing here as zero okay so this is important to index with a zero value then what we are doing here is we are filling up the scholar number empty cell with the value of x or the mode which which we did calculate it in the previous step and yes we are making the changes in the original data frame or the table and then at the last we are printing the value of df okay so let's save this code and run this code so here it is this is the most frequently used values that means 201 or we just say it as a mode of this particular column of scholar number okay so yes we did replace it in the last empty cell of result row and the scholar number column so this is how we perform the filling up of empty values fill it completely with the same value either to fill it according to certain column or either to fill it with the help of mean, median or mode calculated values. So that's all for this tutorial. We'll come up with more informative tutorials for pandas. Thanks for watching. Kindly do subscribe to my channel.